In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best OBS settings for live streaming to Instagram. So basically, right now I have OBS open. Depending on how you wanna do it, if you're just streaming to Instagram with just the normal canvas in OBS, you can go to settings and then that's where you're gonna go to output and you're gonna fix everything. Obviously, you're gonna go to video first and you're gonna change the base canvas and the output canvas to 1080 by 1920. Basically, it's the opposite of this. And that's gonna give you like a very cool canvas right here. And and you can stream directly and then to access the settings you're gonna go through here so you're gonna do everything in obs in the main settings however if you're doing a multi some sort of multi streaming where you have like a, a horizontal canvas and a vertical canvas we're gonna be using a plugin of course i mean i'm assuming you would be using the vertical plugin you can actually access your settings here you have the vertical plugin and you have a2 multi stream plugin as well those two go together and you're gonna be able to adjust your settings right there so that's what we're gonna be doing today again it's the same settings either way just use the same settings and you're gonna get the same results now the first thing you always have to go to back to instagram and set up a live stream if you don't know the process i'm gonna leave a link down below showing you how to do that but we need to get the copy the our url and then our stream key so we can put that in, in obs so we're gonna go under a2 multi stream because this is where we actually manage the settings for very cool streaming and then we're gonna go not the main canvas but very cool canvas and we're gonna add the new output we can use either facebook or just other because facebook is almost the same as instagram so let's use other service and then we can call it ig output and then server that's we're gonna paste our link we just got from instagram and then we're gonna go back and then get our stream key because if you don't want to you don't put this in here it's not gonna allow you to actually adjust it okay so once you're done copying everything just click create output now it's gonna be here now once you have the output as you can see shows the facebook skin because the same server now we can go ahead and go to advanced settings okay so this is where we're gonna be able to adjust everything the good stuff so we're gonna go to video encoder all right and then what we need to do uh, as you can see before we even go there we have audio settings and then we have video and settings all right so we're gonna go ahead and choose nvidia nvec h264 again this is if you have a dedicated graphics card it should be able to show up here if you don't x264 may work but again that's gonna be using your cpu all right so nvidia nvec h264 all right that's what we're gonna be using that's the first setting as you can see fps is gonna say 30 original because it's kind of referring to your main streaming settings 30 frames per second is perfect you can just leave it the way it is and then we're gonna scroll down as you can see here it's asking if you want to rescale output again depending on what you have in your main obs settings you may actually want to rescale but most of the time you're gonna be streaming in 1080 so you don't have to rescale anything all right now next up we have rate control this is where you're gonna be changing stuff uh we want to make sure you choose constant bit rate and the bit rate is gonna be 6000 all right 6000 is the maximum that you can do on facebook and facebook and instagram they are the same thing again i've tasted these settings i streamed for many hours using exactly the same settings so i can assure you that they actually do work all right never had any issue all right 6000 kbps keyframe interval you want to make sure you put it at two seconds all right and then preset you can actually choose anything you want right here depending on the strength of your of your pc for me i always keep it as slow good quality it works all the time so i never have to stress about it tuning you can leave it high quality multiple everything here guys you can just leave it the way it is you don't have to stress about it everything here you can just copy the settings that you see on screen really and never have to touch all this here and once you're done you just click ok and the next thing obviously is to make sure your scenes and your sources look good for a very cool streaming and once you're done all you gotta do is just click here and you're gonna be able to go live to instagram and your image is gonna look good and your stream is gonna be smooth now if you don't have a good internet connection you can lower the bit rate from maybe 6000 to 4000 kbps of course the lower you go the lower the quality is gonna be but you also don't want to go over 6000 because that's the maximum that facebook allows you to send over to instagram but other than guys these are just settings now if you want to see the whole process on how i actually set up a live stream with obs to be able to live stream to instagram i'm gonna link the video right here and i'll see you there guys take care